Come on by and welcome to the Super Beat Podcast, episode 24, season three. We are back. And uh, yes, I have an awesome guest today in his They Live uh, mask that's just, just throwing me off because, you know, I'm a big horror fan. Soul is here today. So, Soul, how you doing, man? I'm all right, man. Just glad to be here. I appreciate the invite. Mm hmm and just want to get the show on the road, man. Yeah, and uh, you know, shout out to my to our boy Mark. Yes. Because without him, this couldn't happen. So yeah. Mark, which he's in the building, but he's being quiet right now. But you know, Mark, you are. <laughs> we thank you, Mark. What we got all, you know. That's thank you in Portuguese, anyway. <laughs> so, 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 man, we see your art here. So how long have you been, 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 been doing this type of art? Well, I've always been an artistic person. Mm -hmm. um, as far back as I can remember, man, I was always interested in the writing on the walls. Mm -hmm. um, I remember, you know, as far back as maybe like the fourth grade, mm -hmm. I remember seeing graffiti in the hallways when I lived in the projects and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it just eventually evolved. In high school, that's when I started meeting people and really venturing out into that form of art. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so and uh, how long? So you you started? Did you start on graph or did you start it as like traditional art? Um, it started with drawing, right? And then the graffiti started to kick in, like in high school. So I would say back in two thousand one, mm -hmm. more or less. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when two thousand six rolled in, I was already starting to really go out there and do you know artwork and. That's when it really hit. 2006, that was my year. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to do. So that's when you, like, started doing, like, graph or just, just I mean, like, art. And, like, like these are, like, yeah. beyond doing graph. The, you just started doing, like, like all types of art. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I pretty much took my form of drawing mm -hmm. and started trying to combine graffiti into it. Mm -hmm. Like, graffiti, you know, like, a lifestyle to it, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just like graffiti is attitude, you know, it's life. Right. It stands out. It's like a slap in the face, you know? So mm -hmm. I just started combining everything and seeing how much I can make with graffiti right. artistically. Yeah, because I've seen you. I, I, I actually saw, I was noticing one of your art um, artworks here. You did it for Beer Wax. Yeah. Um, the bar. Yep. Because I've been there a couple of times. Yeah. Very good spot. Um, they're really good people there. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I've had uh, two shows there, mm -hmm. and they've been pretty good, man. I've always sold. Anytime I've gone there, I've sold artwork. Mm -hmm. I've sold a lot of artwork there. So how, how, how long have you been selling your artwork? Well, let me see. The, uh, the first show that I did was maybe in 2000, might have been 2014 or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm. And it was at Greenpoint Gallery, so that okay. that was my major, sh that, like my first major show mm -hmm. at Greenpoint Gallery in Brooklyn, and um, I sold a lot of artwork, so that opened the door. Mm -hmm. I got really excited, and I just kept doing more art after that and trying to, you know, see how many more shows I could pull off. Right. So and yeah. so I know like with the pandemic that slowed down a lot of stuff. So did you do? Did you still like um, create stuff for online or like or did you did you like just slow down? creating any, anything during the pandemic? Um, the pandemic was definitely weird. You know, I wasn't, um, I mean, I obviously wasn't doing shows. I well, just yeah, no, yeah, nobody was. I was, yeah, I just stopped. Mm -hmm. I didn't stop doing art. Right. Art, I just kept doing. And, you know, I started doing T-shirts, so I stayed home mm -hmm. and got into the T-shirt game. And, you know, I would do black books, things like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it never really slowed down, you know? Right. Uh, aside from having, you know, a regular job, that sometimes makes things difficult. Right. right. Yeah, because the, the, the time maintenance of it all, like trying to actually get this stuff done, and then you got to work, and then you got to, you know what I'm saying? And God knows that you've got a family, then that's a whole other dynamic. Yeah, it's a whole different, uh, it's a whole different ball game trying to juggle both. Right, right. Especially when your art starts to kick up. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because I mean, because it seems like it's like even like the stuff you got on the table, I see you like you have an audience. So it's like <laughs> I know like like when you do commissions, do it really take you a long time to do them? Or? It really depends on what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, like these street signs, they take a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. They're big. And I like to be as precise as I can when I do these things. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so that's it depends, you know, like if, if I don't, if I'm not working for whatever reason, yeah, I can spend eight, sometimes 11 hours just doing artwork straight. Right. I don't stop. I get into a zone, you know? Right. So it could be anywhere between a couple of days, a week, maybe two weeks, depending. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, so basically like the, like the bigger the project. Yeah. That will dictate like. The more elaborate. Yeah. It is. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But... Yeah, because I see, because, like, with these... So how long does it take for, like, when you do the the, 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 the signs? Like, how, how long does this process take? Uh, let me see. For example, this one over here with our violator, mm-hmm. that one took me roughly, I would say, a week. Mm-hmm. A week to, to really finish it up and detail it, clean it up. Mm-hmm. You know, because I do all of these things with markers. You know? Oh, okay. No, I use markers. I don't use paintbrush. Paintbrush is a little bit more, uh, takes a different kind of technique. You know, mm-hmm. I've, I've never been good with paintbrushes. So. Man, that's, yeah, because this, some of this stuff is just, just, just crazy. Um, you, you, uh, you did say, so you started doing merch. And I know, you know, saying, I know that's a big part of, I mean, because, because you're, because you're a brand now. You know what I'm saying? You're not only an artist now, you, you know, you're, you're a brand. So with the merch, like, do you find it easy to just like create things or do you find yourself sometimes getting like blocked like trying to create like the next t-shirt or the or the next sweater yeah um it's a little bit of both i actually try to create my own stuff mm-hmm. but i get artist block you know right so i, I usually like this shirt that i have mm-hmm. this i'm sorry this hoodie yeah. this is a design that i did on a wall right it's not the same colors but this is just how I colored it. Right. Um, that's my design. And um, majority of the time, I'm usually fulfilling orders for other people. People will come to me, hey, I want 12 shirts. I want 30 shirts, hoodies or whatever. Mm-hmm. Can you make it for me? Mm-hmm. You know, and I just go like that. So it's mainly other people's stuff. Right. But when I get when I get the chance, I try to do my own thing. That's you know? what I'm saying. So, but, I mean, so are you, are you like trying to roll out your own brand or is it like you just do it like say you have a a, a, a great design and you say okay let me print some shirts up um eventually i do want to do my own design like my own my own stuff i want to make yeah, my own brand. yeah i mean yeah you should that's what yeah, i'm saying like you know? like, like you, you you should be definitely thinking about that because i mean you got all of this and this is just part of it yeah now imagine if you had all of this and you had on a shirt oh yeah definitely you this, know what i'm saying like this, you know because even for like this show like any type of art I get, I make a shirt out of it. I make stickers out of it. I make pens. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like it just it's so easy just for the, like for that transition. Yeah. Because once you put yourself in that bracket, now you, you know what I'm saying now you sell merch and now you have a different audience and then that audience can get you someplace else. It's all about just you know chain linking and and connecting to get to that next you know what I'm saying that 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 next audience. Yeah, you're right. Um, right now I'm currently doing. I'm trying to conquer as much mm. artistically that I can. Right. So I started doing the T-shirts. I started doing the, the street signs. Um, I like to do the model trains. Yeah, I see that. That, that, model, that, that train is crazy. Uh, I've done a couple of those. I've sold a couple of those. Uh-huh. Um, I'm doing woodwork now. Mm. I'm doing 3D woodwork. Okay. I have something real nice coming up. I don't want to talk about it, but... Mm-hmm. I'll make sure you'll be one of the first people to see it. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. When it's done. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think uh, one of the wood pieces that I've done was, uh, it was a Fat Beats logo mm. with the train, with the guy sticking out the window. Yeah. I did that out of wood. I added lights to it, and I sold it. I sold it at, uh, I believe, Beer Wax. It mm. was. Oh, nice, yeah. Well, I mean, you, yo, you probably sell them trains hand over fist, because that's, yeah. you know, you just do a, a little bit to it, because it, there's people that want to put that on their dresser or put it in the living room and stuff yeah. like that. And I mean, it just looks good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then, yeah. I mean, listen, he, he, he told me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Mark told me, Hey Mark, what are you doing over there? Anyway, he, he told me, you know what I'm saying? You, you're very talented, but then you pulling out all these pieces and he pull out the train and then you put the, and, you, and then you put the day live mask on. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, this guy's, this guy's a celebrity, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. But um, nah, but that's good. You 
that's good you're forward thinking as far as like because you have to think of yourself as a brand and like how can I get myself to the next level because mm-hmm. as you know with COVID it just yeah. it just stopped everything yeah. so if you if you're not like a forward thinker and kind of like a hustler and kind of be like yo you know what can I do to you know get myself here you just gonna be stuck somewhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being hella talented. Yeah. But ain't being able to do anything because you just, you know, saying, okay, I'm waiting for my next check or Yeah. You know that what I'm saying? Sucks. And it and yeah. it don't seem you like that, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. I tell every creative that comes on here. Yeah. Like you gotta think outside the box. And you gotta be able to be like, okay, I'ma make it happen. Mm-hmm. If if they if they ain't gonna open the door, I'ma open the door for myself. Yep. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like You're absolutely right. You know, because you got all this all, all this stuff, all this all this cool stuff, man. So you said so. So the wood printing is 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 the that's the new, that's gonna be the new thing. Yeah, man. You? Uh, you know, I had to put it away for a little while. You know, my my living situation changed, but right. it changed again. So now I got my machinery back, mm-hmm. and I'd be in that apartment making a mess, bro. You know, right. I get that wood shavings everywhere. Oh wow! But I sit there. I got a vacuum. I got you know, I got mini belt sanders. I got everything in there, and that's another thing, man. You know. Right now, I'm in my apartment, and I don't have that much space, mm-hmm. so I have to break that room up into sections. Mm. So I have a section for T-shirts. Mm. I have another corner to do drawings, you know, the signs and all that stuff. Right. Another section to do the woodwork, and then another section is just for, like, exercise equipment, mm. which I don't really use that often because I'm <laughs> always doing artwork. Right, right, right. You know, so... Right. But if I had the space, man... You best believe I, I'd go and get a sticker machine. Mm. Um, I'd probably get an embroidery machine if I could, you know, exactly. figure out how to get that. And I, I, I want to do everything artistically that I can. That's what's it. So do, do you do the stickers now or no? No, I haven't ventured into that yet. No. Oh, so but yeah. that's that's something else that I'm eventually going to end up putting yeah, some money towards. That, that'll be easy for you because you yeah. already got the artwork. Yeah. You just literally put the artwork on on, on the line. Mm-hmm. And then you upload the file, and then they make the stickers for you. Yeah, I might have to uh, invest in that machine. Maybe next year, maybe by the summertime, I'm gonna see if I get something. Yeah, I mean, cause you, you, you got. The, it's all about content. You got the content already. Yeah, thank it, you. It, yeah, you just have to just, you know. But um, so with the with the woodwork, and I'm just interested in when um, how long is that process? Like, say, if, say if I wanted something done. And uh, how long did it take you to do it from start to finish? Um, well, again, you know, it depends on how elaborate uh-huh. it is. Like, right now what I'm doing is pretty elaborate, so it's going to take me maybe a week or two. Right. Um, but if you just wanted, like, a tag, like your name in a tag form, mm-hmm. I draw it out, um, I clean it up, and then I just start the process, and I, I could do that in a day. You right, know? right. It's pretty easy, um, for that at least. Um, so, you know, it, sometimes it'll take a week, other times it'll take two weeks, maybe a month, mm-hmm, depends, mm-hmm. you know, how big the pieces are, you know, because right. I, I got to manually cut all of this and and do all that stuff, you know, so. Right. No, nah, because, no, nah, because I, I, I see a lot of people, not a lot of people, but, but people are starting to make the wooden pieces. So I just, it was just interesting when you was like, yo, you know, I'm, I'm getting into that because I think that's a big, that's a, you know, that's a definitely a get. Yeah, you know, it's um, you know, it's all creativity, man. I really enjoy doing that. You know, mm-hmm. I want to eventually start cutting into metal as well. You know, mm. get into metal sheets and and combine both, combine wood and metal. You know, just Frankenstein something. You know, like put put things together and see what happens. You know, I like to do things and post it, and people be like, "Yo, that's crazy. Mm. That's sick. How much you want for that?" You know, it feels good. It makes me feel good as an artist. Yeah. You know? Especially like when you see, I mean, like you know, when people like repost your stuff or yeah, when they sell something, they post it up. So I know you know, saying that's yeah. just that's that's helping you out too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's 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 a great thing, man. I, I really I I appreciate the people that support me. You know, mm-hmm. I really do. You know, that's eventually that crowd is gonna grow bigger and bigger and right. bigger. Right. You know. So with the graph, did you take off doing the graph, or or you know, you just now you're just doing this stuff like no no I, I do a little bit of both you know um 
So I got this mask on, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well you know, I had yeah, to, yeah. to ask. You know what I'm saying? I had to ask. See, some, some people, like for myself, I just like wearing a mask. Mark will tell you. Like, I, I just, I wear it all at all times. All day, right? You know, I like, because I like, I said this last episode, I like walking by you yeah. and you don't recognize me. Oh, that's a great thing. And then I'll text you, the asshole that I am, and be like, oh, I just saw you. <laughs> and then they'd be like, yeah. what, what's wrong with you? Like, what? I don't know. I just get a kick out of that. Yeah. You know, whatever, whatever floats your boat, man, you know? Um, but yeah, you know, so artistically, you know, I'm just trying to get to a certain level, man, you know? Right. I mean, not that I'll stop at that level because to me, things are never, it's never good enough. Mm-hmm. And that could be good and it could be bad. Right now it's good because it keeps me pushing. Right. Never satisfied. Push. It could be better. Mm. Be more creative, you know? Mm. Ever expanding. Yeah, I mean, yeah, cause that, definitely because, you know, the, the the graph world is very competitive. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's very competitive. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't have to tell you because you, you know what I'm saying, you live it. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Sometimes I'm like, man, why didn't I think of that? And you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've, yeah. I've brought other artists on here, and it's like, it's just a mad, mad world, man. Yeah. But well, what they do say, I will tell you this. They say it was easier to get busy with the pandemic oh, because... Yeah. Nobody was around. Yep. And you could do a couple of things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know. Um, so so what so at this point you're saying you're doing all all of this. Is there anything else you want to do as far as like like any other thoughts you have as far as like how far you can take your art to? I mean, sky's the limit, bro. Mm. You know, I'm I'm just trying I'm slowly trying to figure out more ways right and and more forms of art really discovering within myself what i'm good at mm-hmm. and what i'm not that good at you know like i might not be good at oil paintings or something you know who knows i've right. never really dabbled in that uh-huh. but um i'm just always trying to find a new way a new a new form of art i love painting walls i love doing the pieces you know and and, and doing all that stuff mm-hmm. i haven't done it in a while but you know, I've been a little busy with work and doing artwork and T-shirts. But uh, I definitely want to get better at doing the walls. You mm. know? So what's your favorite form of art? Like, what's, what do you like doing? The, like, what, what, what really gets you going? Man, that's tough. I <laughs> mean... Because you do so much. That's what I'm saying. Like, what's... Yeah, what, man. What's your favorite? I don't... If I had to, if I had to choose, like, whether I wanted to paint the wall... Mm. Or stay at home and do a you know piece of wood or, or a street sign. I would probably would like to paint the wall. Yeah. Only because I want to get better at that form of my art. Right. You know, like I sometimes judge myself a little bit too much. You know, that's artists. You well, know? I think we all do. Um, judge ourselves too hard. Yeah. I try. I try to just. I just try to be better at what I do all the time. You know. So I would say painting the walls. Is something I definitely need to do more of because mm-hmm. I have the ideas. Now I just have to execute them. Right. Yeah. I mean, but that's what that's what anything like. You're gonna be a biggest critic, and you're gonna be your hardest critic. Yep. Like, I can see something that's like, yo, that's amazing. That's perfect. You'll be like, no, that's off. <laughs> I should have did yep. this. Yep. I should have put that <laughs> color on there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's just like the gift and the curse of being a, a creative a creative artist. You know. So um. What, like, is is all this stuff just basically just people telling you what they want, or is this stuff like you're just imagining and, and putting out there? No, this is um stuff I just said. Let me see if I could draw this. Mm-hmm. You know, um, like that Bart Simpson one, the ODB. Yeah. Off the bat, I knew I could draw that because that's like that's like a real cartoon style form of uh you know graffiti. Mm-hmm. Um, then this one with the uh, Harley Quinn on it, yeah, it's a little bit more detailed. And I said, let me see if I could do this. Mm-hmm. So I sat there and I just meticulously just try to do everything nice and and you know, and you know as detailed as possible. You know, I had to airbrush a little bit in there, right? Get creative, and then you know, so I just kept pushing myself to to try to just see what else I could come up with. This mm-hmm. stuff, I just did it just to do it. Right. You know? So you just basically just like, I mean, let me just do yeah, it like together. That, that's my form of, of, my favorite form of art is 
trying to just do the stuff I like. Like, yeah, some, sometimes I get jobs where people say, hey, can you do this for me, do that for me? That's cool, but sometimes I lose the fun because I work off of motivation and, and inspiration. Mm. If I'm not inspired to do something, it becomes really difficult. It becomes like a job to me sometimes. Mm. Like, I just don't want to do it, you know, or I have to do it. I don't want to let that person down. You know, that's that's me personally, you know? Right. Yeah, because I was thinking, like, 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 like do, do you collect comic books or something, or you like comics, or? Um, no, no, man. Um, I, I mean, I like comics. You know, I like all that stuff, the Marvel movies and yeah, all that. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, I, I know, I, you know, I got these signs up here, you know, from you know the comic books and all that stuff. But uh -huh. that stuff, like my inspiration to do like these two signs, yeah, that comes from uh, uh my my uh, my boy R D. R D. Mm -hmm. That's where I got the idea from, you know? Um, and that inspired me to start getting better at my art also, you know. Mm. That form of art. So you ba so the, basically you're va you're improving like every project yeah. you do. You're just getting better and better. Yeah, I really try. I'm always pushing forward. It's never good enough. I gotta keep doing better. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, it seems like, but it seems like you're doing good to me. I mean, <laughs> shit, I can't do this crap. I wish I could. I'd be a millionaire. Shit. I'd be selling everything. <laughs> you know me, Mark. I'm a hustler. I'd be painting that shit. That should be up the next day. Yep. Sell, sell. <laughs> yeah. But um, so in what other uh are you? What other activities you like to do besides uh art, art and creating and being a creative? Is it? <laughs> Anything else that you like to do? Yeah, man. I mean, there's there's a lot of things. Um, mainly right now, I just I, I I went and I got myself a four thousand dollar scooter. Whoa, this guy, this guy's pimp, yo. Yeah. Woo! More yeah. bringing these these guys over here. Yeah, definitely. This guy's dangerous, man. <laughs> Jeez so, Louise. And I went out. I got myself a four thousand dollar scooter. Um, oh. You know, I was going through some. You know little bit like i don't know if it's depression or just sadness or whatever it is and i'm like you know what man fuck this excuse my language um, yeah, you can curse this is this ain't no okay. family show fucking curse yeah, motherfucker. I, just, I caught myself you know yeah, but nah, anyway. curse motherfucker all right <laughs> no family show um yeah Put so you know i bought i bought the scooter and i ended up getting down with um a nice click uh they called mini motors mm. um east coast scooters mm. and it you know the, it's a group bro let me tell you man we do group rides and it's about sometimes 10 of us, sometimes it's 40 of us. And it's all scooters, uh, you know, electric electric bikes, unicycles, all of it. Mm. You know, so that's, aside from the artwork, that's a new thing that I've been dabbling in, you know? Mm. Man, for, four stacks for a scooter, bro? Yeah, it's no joke, man. I can go from here to Jersey on that thing, man. I'm looking at Mark, because I, I hope he ain't put you up to that. No, nah, man, that was straight you know me, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mark over there. You know, yeah. he be he be he be he he be his North Face and <laughs> stuff like that, you know. Four four stacks, I would have bought mad clothes, bro. I ain't gonna Shit. lie to you. I ain't gonna hold you. Four stacks, I'm buying it. I hear you, man. Trans Antarctica's and <laughs> Polo. Yeah, man. You I listen, I'll give me a bike for two hundred dollars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, you know, teach his own, bro. I mean Hell yeah. as long as it make you happy. Yeah, man. And you know what I'm saying? You and, and now you got your little bike click. Shit. <laughs> no <laughs> you, joke. You're doing good, bro. But anyway, but anyway, so beyond the four thousand dollar bike, um, are you are you planning to do any like solo shows or any shows, any co shows with anybody? Um up like 'cause I mean stuff is opening up now. Yeah. You know, I mean I mean I don't go out like that, but I see a lot of people going out now and bars are open and yeah, man, you know, um, I definitely want to do um, more shows. Mm. I, um, I would say I got to start doing more more artwork because I sold a lot of it, you know? Yeah, so you sold, so the bundle of your old stuff is gone. Yeah, a lot, yeah. A lot of that stuff is, uh, you know, gone already, so my, my walls are kind of bare. So mm. I have to, you know, bust out a couple more pieces, you know? I would say by the summertime, right. I should be in pretty good condition, you know? Like, yeah, because there's a lot of bars. Even in Brooklyn, there's a lot of bars that you can... They they love them art shows. Yeah, you know. And so, you, you know, you should definitely look into that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so you know, I try to do little things here and there, but I, I really haven't done any you know shows. I think the last one was at Beer Walks, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, but 
Yeah, because I, I noticed because I saw the piece and I saw the beer wax on the piece. I was yeah. like, I was like, beer wax? The bar? Oh, yeah. shit. So, you know, here and there, eventually, I would like to do another big show, you mm. know, another solo show or a group show, whatever it is, you know? Yeah, well, you know, it takes it takes time, man. Yeah. Especially, like, like how you said, like how you said it, you know, you got to basically figure out the timing on how to, what to do with this and get this done and then I got to work and then I got to do this and yep. it's hard, bro. But I mean, you, it, I mean, I mean, you got a basis to start on, yeah. you know? So what, so, so basically, so for the people that seeing this stuff, what are usually like the prices for some of this stuff? Like how much does this stuff go for? You know what, man? Sometimes I got to be honest, I lowball myself. For the sake of hey just... hey hey hold on hold on I I heard something over there oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay no I thought I heard something yeah you know I thought I heard something but um yeah sometimes I'll be honest with you man sometimes I just lowball myself for the sake of just selling it mm. because I'll do artwork and I'll post it and I'll try to go to shows and sometimes they don't sell and again as an artist I become hard on myself right and you know my artwork was sitting in, in my room. For a year, a couple months, and I get tired of looking at it. Right. Like, Yo, I gotta get this out of here. So, you know, so let's, you know, I would try. I usually aim high. For these three signs, mm. I would say each one I would probably sell for maybe maybe five hundred, six hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. You know, if okay. I had to get rid of it because I just don't give a shit about it anymore. Right. I drop it down maybe three hundred. You know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, you know, three bills. That's good for me. I'll take that and. I save my money, you know. Okay. But um, yeah, I always aim high, man. You know. Right. But it, you know, it's a new year, and I I can't be lowballing myself. I put a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of detail into what I do, and a lot of passion. Mm -hmm. So I know that those that appreciate me, you know, could be willing to buy that art, you know. Mm -hmm. No, no, I I hear you, hear you, but they, you know, what I'm saying, but they gotta pay for your for your time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I hear, like, so if you don't care, but, I mean, for the most part, you should try to get what it's worth. Yeah. You know, and even if you got to say no yeah. 10, 12 times, yeah, you, you're going to get that yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, but you're going to have to be like, listen, this is $600. Yep. This is what I want. This is what it's worth, and that's it. Yeah. And there's no cutoff. There's no, I'll give you four. Yeah. Because, I mean, because then you're going to get low ball forever. Yep. You know, you got to, like, draw a line in the sand, like, nah. This is what this is worth. Yeah, like, this yeah. is what I put. I put my work, put my time, put my effort. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying. Like they, even like when I like make stuff, I create shirts and shit. And people be like, oh well, I give you twenty dollars. No. Yeah, people, you know. No, I don't want twenty dollars. Yeah. I did. I made it to be worth this. So yeah. if you're not gonna give me this, then don't give me anything. They'll try, man. You know, a lot of people try. A lot of people, you know, they'll want something until you tell them a price. Yeah. You know, and it's. Oh, like, of course. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah. Right, oh, that's dope. Oh, oh, yeah. That, that. Oh, that shirt is. And then they see it. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want. Yeah, no, see you I'm, later. No, nah, right. I'm good. Peace. I'm good. Yeah, yeah like... no, no, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> now nah, I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna check my funds and see how it is. Yeah, yeah. You know, you get the whole okie doke. You know, it what happens. Saying? You know, I mean, it happens to a lot of us. You know. Yeah. But you know, it is what it is, man. The art game ain't easy. And you know, once you find, once you find the right, um, uh, what's it like, the right fan base, I mm -hmm. guess, or you know. The people who really would be like, yo, I'm, I'm buying this, you know? Yeah, well, once you got your fan base. The clientele, you know? Yeah, once you got a, a consistent fan base and clientele, you don't have to worry about everybody else. Yeah. You cater to your fan base. That's it. And they'll take care of you. And eventually, people start, you know, you start getting more people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Within, yeah. within but, time. Everything's time, yeah. you know? Because even, like, like I used to manage um, um a couple of artists, and I used to always tell them, like, Focus on your fan base yep. because those are the ones that are going to raise the flag and, you know what I'm saying, and make sure you're good. Yep. And then if you make sure they're good, then they'll spread the word for you. You don't got to do anything. Yep. You just got to just produce, yep. you know. And, you know, that's how you always got to, you always got to cater to who, like you said, to who's the ones that, okay, you know, supporting you and buying this and just always cater to them because they're the ones that going to have that word of mouth and be like, yo, you saw the new shit sold there? Yo, shit. And so, and next thing you know, you have another sale. Yeah. You know, you know. I mean, that that's that's work for me. So, you know. I don't know. I don't know these things. You know, I don't know. I'm trying to be like Mark. 
No, you on you on the right track, man. You, you know, know, you got the idea. You're a hustler, man. Trying to be like, oh yeah, yeah. Well, Mark, I tell you, yeah. You know, I, I got like thirty kids. Nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> thirty kids. <laughs> no, nah, not thirty, but I close. Know, know. Twenty-five. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, so yeah, so what? So are you doing any more any more signs coming up, or 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 or, or this is it? No, but man, I done. mean, this is as many as I could get, you know. I got another one in the house. I haven't started working on it yet. I got to come up with an idea for that. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I, lo- I love doing these things, man. I love doing these things. Yeah, I'm, ha- I'm going to have to talk to you off off camera, see if I can get a Super P podcast or a sign. Oh, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Throw that up in the museum, Mark. Yeah. They're going to be tight. <laughs> in the museum. Oh, be vice <laughs> grip. They're gonna hey. be vice grip. They're gonna be like, what who what like what is this? <laughs> Just as long as Mark don't blow me up and say, cause he knows who the Super P podcast is. They don't know who he is. Yeah. Yep. So as long as he don't blow me up, then I can I can I can pull it off. Yeah. I'll probably get fired after that, but you know, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, man. But um Yeah, so so you said so you so you so you're working on a sign in the house. You said you're gonna get into stickers. Um so any any new merch coming out soon? Um, uh, I mean, aside from just doing things for other people right now, get taking orders and fulfilling them, uh, I haven't really thought about or had the time to really sit down and say, this is what I want my brand to be. Um, mm. You know, I want to do, I want to eventually do hats too, you know? Yeah, I wanna you can get do it a, all. I mean, yeah. look, you got a basis right there, like yeah. a shirt right there. Get the hats. Make, you know? make a hat, make a t-shirt. Make some stickers off that one thing. Yeah, man. And then you just keep on going. I love it. I lo- I just love it, bro. If I if I could just quit my job, and I, I have a great job, mm. but it's not doesn't make me happy. You know, it's just you know, just like anybody else. You know, you want to do what makes you happy in life. Right. You know? But it I, seemed it seemed like the art makes you happy though. Yeah, yeah, man. It's yeah. you know I I go through things and and be you know really out of it, mm. and sometimes I'm like I don't want to do art, you know. And then I'll start something, and then I'm, you know, a couple hours later, I'm like, yo, this is great. Mm-hmm. You know, you get your mind off of things. So it's definitely my outlet. So I'm always trying to find something new to do. Stress reliever. Yeah. You know, trust me, we need those. Uh, I mean, I always need those. You know, all, all, all these baby mamas. Oh, man. <laughs> I need a couple of outlets, man. <laughs> They're going to kill me when they hear this. Oh, man. Like, You've been talking about me. You were talking about me on the show. Oh, man. You in trouble now. Damn. Listen, I don't care. Whatever. They got to get over it. Anyway. So let's see. Um, so you said you did that. You said you did that. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just making sure I ask you everything. Yeah, sure, man. Yo, because, but that mask is, is crazy. If anybody doesn't know, if you, uh, watch They Live. Yeah, man. He got the craziest mask. In 20, 24 episodes, he's wore the craziest mask. Because there, there was also... One more person that wore a crazy mask, a detour from the um, Graffiti Art Kings. Nice. So he came in here and he had on a, the mask from like Creep Show. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So, but you killed it, bro. Like this is, like I keep on looking at the mask. I'm thinking about the the movie, the movie, and I'm trying to like ask questions and like it's messing me up because. Yeah, man. I, I got Roddy Roddy Piper in my head. Yeah. yeah. You know, talking about the movie. <laughs> it's just like it's like he's like. Yeah, man. You know, there's a. There's a reason why I'm wearing this mask is because it's still relevant today, bro. Oh, it, it's relevant today. There's a reason why I'm wearing this. Mm-hmm. You know, so especially with the big thing, and we, and, and we can get on this because uh, we all live in this. You know, the whole vaccine being yep. vaccinated yep. as opposed to not being vaccinated. Yep. Like, uh, how are you navigating these these waters? Um, honestly, um, not complying. Mm-hmm. That's me. You know. Right. I don't like uh having shit shoved in my face. I'm tired of eating shit, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not I'm not doing it, you know? I don't... I never had faith in the government. Never had faith in law enforcement. And, you know, it's just... They have yet to prove me otherwise. Right. You know? Right. There's a lot of things going on and people just don't see it. Or just, they just don't care or what it is, you know? And I don't have anything against anybody. Mm-hmm. You know, you do what you want with your life. Right. But when you're trying to force me to do things that I just don't believe right. in, then it becomes a problem. You know, now it's like, nah, I'm not, I'm not with yeah. it. Yeah, cause see, cause see, cause like I always say, like me, for instance, me, I'm vaccinated. Mm-hmm. But 
I didn't get forced to get vaccinated. It's a choice. I, I, it was a choice, and I and I and I did the, the 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 you know the the okay. What am I injecting in me? You know what I'm saying? I, I did the due diligence to find out, and that's why I tell people that's the problem I have with the rollout. It is now they're forcing you to do it, and it should never. You should never be forced to do anything. That's just it's a oh. big no-no because yeah. maybe. You know, maybe my name is Joe Blow, and I don't want to get vaccinated. Yeah. Because of reasons, I have my reasons. So you you need to respect the person's reasons. Yeah. Should you know what I'm saying? Should everybody get vaccinated? Well, maybe, but everybody's different. You know, and that's how I always say. I always say it's a problem when people start forcing you. Because if you look through history, when people start getting forced to do things, it never goes yeah. well. Doesn't end well. It never never goes well. You know, and you know, I just. Yo, it's just like, but it's real. Like, people are losing their jobs yeah. because they won't get vaccinated. Yeah, and all it does, it, it creates hostility. It creates uh, hatred. Yeah, it's creating a, a, a divide. Yeah, a got, divide. Yeah, it's, 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 people are divided now. The yeah. vaccinated people who are still transmitting the virus yeah. as, as, as not being vaccinated, it's the same thing. So it's like... Yeah, you know, to me, to me, it's it's all about... um. It's never been about COVID. This is my personal opinion. This mm. is what they're just trying to roll out. They're trying to, they can make you do this. They're going to make you do something else. You know, and once they get that grip, like, you know what they say, you lose your freedom. You don't get it back. You know, so the more, the more you give in to certain things for whatever reason, you know, and, and you make people lose their jobs, you don't do that. Mm-hmm. There's a lot, of, a lot of people were on the front lines of this. And you come and you take away something that, yeah, that, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah, but, but like I always say, it's it's a it's a money trail, bro. Yeah. yeah. All these once all these big companies start saying you got to be vaccinated, guess what? Yep. Everybody gonna have to be vaccinated because they, you know, what I'm saying you can't play with the money. Yeah. Like when you go to think about it, you go to concerts, you go to basketball games, whatever. You got to be vaccinated to go. Yeah. Or they're like, okay, goodbye, good luck. Yep. We're good. You see, uh, uh Kyrie Irving, they're not letting him play because he's not vaccinated. Yeah. So Crazy. it's like. <laughs> it's like it's Stand getting back. real out there, bro. Yeah. If you ever read the book 1984, I've heard it, of it. You need to read that book because we're yeah. living it right now. Yeah, man. And Big Brother is always watching, and you know it's just another form of uh, controlling you. Yep. You know, it's just another form. Yeah, man. But I'm not gonna get on my conspiracy stuff because no, I hear you, bro. You know, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, you know, get your, I don't want to get Mark upset. He, didn't, a- <laughs> he didn't come here. He didn't come in here about us talk about. Conspiracy theories. That's a rabbit hole, man. And you know what I'm saying? Because we could go on. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. Really? But um, yeah. But other, but other, other, other than that, um. So what's so tell me what's I I I I know you started saying um what you're talking about with as far as like the wood the wood paneling is gonna yep. be the new thing, so. I mean, going forward, so the wood paneling is like what we got to look for. Like in the next six months, you're going to be focused on wood paneling or it's going to be more art. Um, it's going to be more, um, what else you was doing? You're doing so much. Yeah. What? So what's your outlook for the next six months as far as creatively, like what, what you got coming out besides the wood paneling? Because I know that's, like you said, you have yeah, like man. different parts of the, what you're going to be doing. It's really whatever comes to mind. You know, mm-hmm. like I, I got the wood paneling, you know, I started doing it again. So I'm going to be venturing with that a little more. Yeah. Um, but I mean, anything that just comes to mind, man, I'm going to continue to do the signs, you know, um, continue to do the T-shirts. Um, you know, I, m- I might even try to get into to oil painting, you know, try something, you know, you don't know until you try it, you know. Yeah. I mean, you should, bro, you should. Get into everything. Yeah, man. I, I just, it's it's just, I have all this energy and I'm, I'm trying to release it through this art. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, the object is to grow the brand, bro. Yeah, man. And however you want to grow it, there's no, it's no, it's no wrong answer. Yeah. It's up to you. If you want to take the time and start doing oil painting, do it. Yeah. You know, if you want to do trains and all this, do it. Yeah, it's fun, man. I really enjoy all of that, man. You know, like I said, I, I even want to get the stick machine, you know? Oh yeah, you definitely need to get stickers. Yeah, I you think I'm, that's my next investment. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah, be yeah. there. You, you need to have stickers like yesterday. Yeah. So I can be, <laughs> so I can be throwing them up everywhere. Shit, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? On some vandal shit. Real. Like like Mark over there. Anyway. Um, 
He gonna he gonna get mad. He's gonna be so mad. Yo, why you do that, P? Why you do that? Shit. Why you talking to you know, yo, I I just came in to listen. <laughs> I didn't come there to talk. Shit, man. But um, but yeah, so Dak, I I I would say like where 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 can they find like do you want like how they how how does the um internet work for you? Well, right now I'm just using Instagram and right. through Instagram I do word of mouth and all that stuff. Um I haven't done a website yet, but I definitely need to get on my website. Oh yeah, you bro, you yeah. definitely because you got I've been slacking on that. Yeah, I gotta set that up like... and get that going, man. Yeah. Definitely the website. Um and then, you know, once I have that up, you know, I, I guess I can have a visual of, of what my shop is, mm-hmm. what I have, and, you know, go off of that, you know? The website will make things so much easier for you, yeah. bro, because you can categorize everything. Yep. Wood paneling, um, signs, cars, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And then, boom, you just, you know what I'm saying? Because it just takes the the guesswork out of everything. Yeah. Like, say, okay, I want to buy this. I'm so, oh, he's going go on his website. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, sold. Sold. Ship it. Ship it, and you good. Yep. You know? Yeah, because I got, um, I, I have an eBay store, so. Nice. I sell, like, vintage clothing and stuff like that, you there know. You know, yeah. you know, you know I, I try to see. I got, I got my hand in everything. Nice. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. so, I, so, I, so I won't go, go broke with all my kids, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you got to always be having money. Yeah, man. It's... It's not funny. You know, I have a lot of kids. Know. Anyway, so where can they find you online if they wanna, if they wanna find you, if you wanna be found? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, those those who um who already follow me on Instagram already know um you can follow me on Instagram or uh, my my name is uh, underscore three, the number five, seven, underscore New York City. If, that, if you can't find me on that one because, you know, you, you didn't know how to spell it or whatever, type in 357NYC and it'll come up. Mm, okay. You know, I have two pages. Oh, okay. Yeah, so oh, yeah. if you add me on one, I'll add you on the other. Oh, okay. So, You're one of those guys. Yeah. Double pages. Yeah, double. Double it all. Yeah. I got three pages. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We going in right now. The triple threat, man. Yeah, you know, you know. So, you know, I can hit you on any, any, any one I want to talk to you on. Yeah. You know, but, uh, and, uh, like you said, so because they're gonna see the video of this, mm-hmm. so if they contact me as far as like, you know, the um, what what was the what was the prices of these on the bottom? I don't you, even know you, what you that said, is. Oh, you the said canvases these, over yeah, there. Yeah, the right? canvases. Like, how much? Oh, you have like a range. Uh, I mean, canvases. I'll, I'll sell maybe two hundred and fifty bucks, two hundred bucks. You know, the canvases are. Uh, what the canvases are whatever to me, I, I, unless it's a really big canvas. Yeah. These are little canvases, so mm-hmm. you know. And how about your cars? How much do you sell your your cars? Oh, those. Uh, well, it depends. I mean, sometimes I sell those for three hundred. Mm-hmm. You know, because they're so detailed. You know, like these th- these things light up. Oh, you know? okay. They light up and all that stuff. Um, depends on the car if it lights up or not. They run on track, so anywhere from three to maybe four hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You know? And do you tell and it, and it, do they customize like what's on the car, or do you already make it to what's on the car, or, or they they tell you what they want to put on the car? Sometimes it, it could be both, you know. Like usually, I just do whatever I want on it. Okay. Um, but I've had people tell me, "Hey, can you do this?" You know, write my name on it in graffiti. And right. I've done that, you know. So mm-hmm. it's custom. I do a lot of custom. So it's more it's more customization, you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I just want you to say the prices because when they listen to it. Yeah, if yeah, they wanna, yeah. If they want to reach out and buy and purchase something, it's it's in the video. So yeah, of like, course. You know, I can say, listen to the video, and you have the prices, and yeah. you can contact him and give him your money, and then that's it. Yeah, <laughs> give him your money. You know what I'm saying? Give him your money. But yeah. yeah, you know, like the signs, like the bigger the sign, the more I'm going to charge for it, the more detail it is, the more I'm going to charge for it, you know, so... You know, if if you like something, hey, support me, man. You know, I'm always I'm always doing art. Mm-hmm. And, and if they want commissions, they just hit your Instagram, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Well, and on that note, you can find me on Instagram, Polo Parata. The Susie Podcast on Instagram, Facebook. Um, where else we at? We're everywhere. Because I forget where we at most of the time. Um, <laughs> if you sign us up on Patreon, if you sign up on Patreon, you you'll get this episode today. If not, you'll get it on Monday, which is tomorrow. It'll be out. And uh, yo, know, it was it was. I'm glad you came. You have the best mask. Thank you, man. Of the 24 it. episodes that I've done. <laughs> so Appreciate it's gonna be hard to top him because he's got the lead. Shit. Because usually people wear masks and stuff and yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. 
But you're like the winner, bro. Like this is subliminal here, man. I'm trying to tell y'all something, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I know. Like, yo, you dropping some gems, bro. I mean, I'm saying I I, I appreciate it, son. I, I learn every episode, like little bits from everybody, you know. But um, yeah, we're we're gonna get out of here. And uh, again, thanks for Mark. You know, he's the connector of all of this. You know, without him, man, I wouldn't have seen. I wouldn't have even known about this. So thank you, Mark. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> but I will see you guys next week. The Soupy Podcast. We're out. Ciao.